Good morning, afternoon, evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Diane Peris. I'll be technically handling the webinar, and my colleagues Laura and, uh, and Ingo uh, will, will be facilitating this webinar. Just wanted to uh, give you some technical uh, notes before we start. Uh, at, uh, at, at some point of the webinar, we will be uh, opening the floor for questions. So at that point, you can raise your hand. That is a raise your hand feature. If you look for it now on the on the little panel on your on the right hand side of your screen, so you raise your hand and I will unmute you. By default, you all of you are on mute. I will unmute you and then give you a, a turn to speak. And also, there is another way to send in your questions and chat uh, chat windows, and that is through the through the in the panel on on the right hand side. There is a section to send in your questions if you want to write them. And uh, we will try to take all of all or, or some of the questions if, uh, if time permits. Uh, with that, I will hand over the floor to Laura and Ingo. Yes, hello, welcome to everybody. Um, my name is Ingo Ritz. I'm the director of programs of the Global Call to Action Against Poverty (GCAP), and we are also part of Action for Sustainable Development. So I'm very happy to welcome you to this call because we have great actions ahead of us for the 25th September. So um, there's a lot of interest. So we got 165 people registered for this um, webinar. So far I can see that we are 41. So I guess some more people will join. So uh, in this webinar, we have uh, one hour time and we will first go through um, a slide uh, to explain what are the actions for the 25th September. Um, so we will also have some examples from around the world for, the, uh, for plans already done so far. Um, and then we will have a part of um, questions uh, and answers. So also maybe uh, having more ideas from other people. Um, so since this is a bit very big webinar, uh, so please um, raise your hand uh, as uh, Gaian explained just now. So first I would like to ask um, Mitchell Tomey from, from the UN SDG Action Campaign to um, welcome us and to, to give a first introduction. Mitchell? Yes, hello, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you very much, Ingo, uh, Guyane, and Laura for uh, organizing and, and running this important webinar. Uh, and thanks to all of the partners who have dialed in. Um, we we have a long uh, uh, history in the UN, and, and many of you will remember the Millennium Campaign days uh, with uh, incredible support from the GCAP uh, uh, partners um, in in all manner of, of things. Uh, but there were a few big mobilizations that really stood out, like Stand Up and other things that that caught attention and got political traction. What we've seen in the in the era of the SDGs is an enormous amount of great work being done and a lot of excitement and and different things being tried. Uh, all over the world to figure out exactly how do we how do we campaign around this big agenda? What's the where are the anchor points? So we've had a couple of years now. Everyone around the world has been trying, and we've been we've been watching very closely. And one thing we noticed is that it would be great to have one organizing day, and that that always helps. Um, choosing that day is always difficult. Uh, what is that? You know, SDGs represent everything, so you can't really. Uh, just use a, a day that's thematically linked to one area and so on. So we looked to the day that the, the goals were actually signed uh, in 2015, this is the 25th of September. Um, and it seemed uh, a, an appropriate day to, to celebrate, to, to mark, and to remind uh, leaders uh, of, of the commitment. And so this, this year is our very first attempt uh, with partners to rally around that date uh, and, and work to see if we can't make a big noise, uh, not just the, at the local level, but, but resonating uh, globally. And we, uh, we, we can set challenges and we can figure out what would be ideal, but nothing matters unless it matters to you, because this is really your agenda, uh, it's the people's agenda, and we want to give you the opportunity, the very basic framework to do this. Um, but we don't have a very strict uh, design for this day. We want to, what we noticed in, in designing the SDGs, where this broad outreach resulted in this enormously powerful and comprehensive agenda, 
uh, we feel that we sh in, in every turn at, of the SDGs, we need to do the same thing. So when it comes to campaigning, uh, yes, we can, you know, we have the, the kind of a, a position in the UN system to rally around a date and to fix a date and kind of set uh, something that will be seen as official. Um, but we don't have, uh, we want your help in designing it out. We want, we have some suggested actions this year. Uh, we want to, you know, work on some kind of coordinated level so that we can show a thunderclap of impact across the world. But we want, as always, to use your creativity and to give you the platform to, to make the points that you need to make uh, locally. Um, we plan to sponsor this event every year. Uh, next year, the, the 25th act actually happens to fall upon the, the very first opening day of the General Assembly, so it'll be a very powerful day. Uh, this year, it's, it's going to be a kind of the, the first try, and every time, you know, there's always a kind of a first year, but the, the, the partners that are on this call and that have agreed, and, and Ingo's great work in coordinating, you will help us set the template for how this works in the future. So not only is it a very important exercise this year, uh, but we feel it's time to set this cadence up uh, on an annual basis, and we really look forward to your great creative thinking, your great ideas, uh, and your energy and enthusiasm to, to show leaders that this agenda is not going anywhere. People are expecting them to deliver, and they will be reminded every year. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mitchell. So, yeah, I think that's really the idea to to use this 25th September um, this year as, as a start, and then to have each year uh, a big moment together. So it's clear that the SDGs have to be implemented and achieved at, at the local and national level mainly, but also from uh, our experience, it's it's very helpful to to have a global day or global moment of action together once a year. So and and. This is now the, the start, and actually, I can see so much energy um, around the world. So many young people, uh, so many um, all kind of different people being active on on the SDGs. Uh, but then um, there's also a certain level of um, frustration because um, the processes of um, planning in different countries are not always very fast. So um, we also thought and, and we had discussions with, with many civil society actors around the world so uh, and people said really okay we need to go to the public now uh, it's two years and um, we uh, we yeah now we, we we can ask also our governments what have you done uh, in the last two years what, what are your plans and um, so let's come together and let's do this together so definitely we need to involve uh, citizens uh, people around the world and and civil society organizations and we, we um, really need the creativity uh, of, of all of you. Um, so what we are doing here is more like giving a framework or creating a framework which is based on, on different discussions uh, in different regions of the world, in different meetings at national level, at regional level and so on. So this um, this what we are presenting here is based on, on many civil society discussions. Um, so, um, but what we really need is, is the activities at, at the local level. Um, so this year we don't have really much resources. Um, so it's mainly depending on, on the people. So there's no like budget to, to um, support uh, local activities, but uh, therefore we have also uh, one part is the online actions, um, the, the my, my world, and then, but we want, want also to have offline actions. So, and we hope that this will be possible. So, um, yeah, it's um, very important that um, you register any activities you are planning um, with, with a link you, you, you see here on, on the website and um, you got already by email and we will send more. Um, so, and then also at, at the end, uh, that means by the 25th September evening, we need to get the um, photos and reports so to make it really strong for, for the global media. Um, can we move on to the next uh, slide? So we have this uh, three uh, type of actions. One is uh, uh, my world survey, um, and one is to um, amplify, to go live on social media. There are different possibilities, and then to organize an event in your uh, country, in your community. We will uh, hear now from um, different people um, more details on that. Um, so I think Laura, you are starting with the My World. 
Yes, thank you very much, Ingo, and thanks for the words of introduction. I want to reiterate how excited we are to have everybody here on the call and what a great response we've had so far already just going into this. Um, it's early days for this campaign. We're very excited to show in this webinar some of the tools that we've put together to help you in this campaign. Um, and we're going to run through the three different actions that we're suggesting. Now this first action is the action that everybody can do. It's the very easiest action and we'll be um, sending it out around the world through social media and to mass links. Um, we're hoping that everybody will do at least this. This is the minimum simple action and that is taking the My World survey and joining the th Thunderclap. And I'll just walk you through that um, very quickly, what is involved with that. So. For those who don't know, and I know a lot of you are, are ongoing partners and may be aware with it, of it, but uh, the My World Survey is a UN survey to capture citizen voices about the international development agenda. In the 2015 process, uh, it was part of the global conversation to define the SDGs. And we had over 10 million people who participated in that survey and told the UN and, and leaders in their own communities what issues were most important to them and how to prioritize different issues. That tremendously successful campaign only happened because of people like you and many of you were part of making that happen. The survey is supported by the UN but is delivered and brought out into communities by civil society partners. We had over a thousand partners who took, who, um, took part in that mobilization between 2013 and 2015. Now that the SDGs have been launched, we have a new version of the survey, the My World 2030. And this version of the survey is to keep that momentum and keep citizens involved in delivering and reporting on the goals. We think that it's very important um, that ordinary people own the goals, know about the goals, and also have their say. In, in what's important and whether they think the world leaders and their local leaders are doing enough to make these goals a reality. So My World 2030 asks people three questions. It asks if they're aware of the goal, it's an immediate concern to them and their family. And it also asks uh, whether or not they think the situation on those six goals is getting better or getting worse in the past year. The idea is that we'll run this survey from now right until 2030 and we'll be able to track how perceptions are changing and awareness is changing throughout this period. For those of you who've been involved before, you already understand and know how powerful this tool can be in terms of of rallying support for the issues that you care about, reporting back to leaders, you know, for instance, that women in Pakistan rated education as the most important um, issue. You know, you can, you can subdivide the data to focus on the issues and the um, demographic groups that you're interested in. You'll see there's, there's a link to the results. Um, the results are available at data.myworld2030.org for those who want to, to learn more about uh, the results that we've collected so far. That's the background for the survey. For this call to action, what we're looking for initially is to make sure that everybody who's involved first takes the survey, it only takes a minute, and the link is there, myworld2030.org. That's the bare minimum of getting involved in the campaign. But after you've taken the survey, this part's even more important, is to share the message that you've taken the survey and that other people should take it too. Um, so we're asking all of you and many, many more people, uh, anybody we can reach, to join the Thunderclap. Uh, for those who don't know, a Thunderclap is, is a simple campaigning tool to bring together everybody's social media accounts to send the same message at the same time globally. So all you have to do to take part is um, follow the links here to register. We've, we've, we'll be running the Thunderclap in English, Spanish, and French. And you, um, you simply sign up to register using your Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr accounts. And, um, and then what will happen is on September 25th, your message will go out to the world and encourage more people to take the My World survey. 
I think that's enough for action one. I'll pass it back over to Ingo. Okay, thank you, Laura. So I, I also think it would be really good if, if you can join the Thunder Club yourself and also motivate your members because then we, we will have a really strong uh, sign um, on 25th September. So uh, let's go on to the, to the social media actions. So I think we, there are some very good ideas which are also related to, um, to the first part. Um, they can be easily combined. Um, so I think we have Marta to present. Yes, I think. Hi, yes. Hi, Marta. Um, yes, so as Ingo was saying, we have prepared a social media campaign to make sure that uh, we make the biggest impact, not only offline but, but also online. Um, so we have prepared a series uh, of uh, very simple actions that we believe will, um, will help everyone think about the SDGs and the, and the, act uh, the actions are that. Um, why this is important for us and the actions that everyone is taking uh, around it uh, for the uh, ahead of the um, September 25th. So, if we move to the next slide, um, we've uh, we're, we explained here um, how how this uh, how how this. Uh, well, the content that we could share could look like. Um, so we're inviting everyone, our networks, we're uh, uh, celebrities, in influencers, um, to go live ahead of the 25th and share a video uh, or a photo of them uh, answering these three very simple questions that you see here. What actions are needed um, to make sure that the SDGs uh, are achieved by 2030? What action are you specifically ta taking to change that um, or to change what is important for you and your family and, uh, and invite others to join. Uh, always uh, relating to the hashtag act for SDGs to make sure that uh, the, the whole story is visible on, on social media. So you can see one example um, of how this could look like. This is a story we have already collected and um, you see it, it goes to the personal level and uh, explains a bit about the situation and then turns into what, what these specifically two people are doing and a final uh, encouraging message or motivating message like we will make it. Um, of course, please uh, always make sure, I know this is uh, redundant, uh, but uh, we want to make sure that everyone is using the same hashtag. Uh, act for SDGs. Um, yeah, how how to join this, right? Um, one one way to do it is recording a, a message. Previously, you can go to uh, one of the spokesperson in your organization, a uh, person you feel it's. Uh, it's engaging, motivating. You could go to a couple of them, invite. The more people that we that we engage and the more stories that we have, the better. Um, so it could be a pre-recorded message or it could be a, a live, live story. Um, and, and then share it on social media. This means uh, whatever channel is you're using, we're going to be tracking everything from Facebook, Instagram, uh, Snapchat, and uh, Twitter. Another way of doing is, uh, uh, it's not either or, you could do both, is taking a photo. Taking a photo would mean uh, holding, write a sign, you can do it on paper very easily, act uh, and write the hashtag, act for SDGs, and then hold the, hold this, uh, hold the sign and uh, share the photo. Underneath the photo, we would invite you uh, to post the story um, we were explaining before to make the, con to make the personal collection connection to the, to the campaign. And then um, we want to make sure that uh, every, every of your stories and that we connect all, the, all our networks. So we're going to be um, sharing also all this content you will be producing. Um, 
So I invite you first to share it on your networks and then share it with us so we can replicate it. And we thought the easiest way to do this, uh, and since this is an open source campaign, would be through Google Sheet. So if you go to the link uh, marked in blue, Um, let's go back to the to the previous slide. So if you go to <laughs> perfect. So if you click in 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 one of these links, um, you will go to a very simple Google Sheet. We have uh, already. Uh, inputted one of the uh, as an example one of the stories so you could share there um, the link to the story and the name of the organizations hashtags and uh, mentions that we have to take to um, to take into account to make sure that we don't miss anything to make this easier for each one of you we are preparing a social media pack and we will be sharing with you um, ima SDG images for printing for the photos. We will also we're preparing a video teaser and endorsements for from um, UN high high level officials and uh, influencers, um, visuals and infographics that will help you um, illustrate the messages, banners, online materials, a filter for Facebook, covers for Facebook and Twitter, uh, and of course key messages, press release templates and quotes that will also help you um, create the tweets, create the Facebook post and, um, and have uh, ready-made sam sample, sample to um, materials. We can go, we can go to the link there, the media pack, and you will see a Trello board. Um, it hasn't been already uh, completely filled with everything that um, that you will have there available soon. But you can you can see um, all these different um, uh, boards um, have uh, a number of uh, cards in them, and if you go click into each one of them, you will find them all the materials. Okay, great. Thanks very much, Marcia. I think um, that, that gives us a good overview. And um, just to add, um, we'll be adding new materials to that every day. I think um, Marcia mentioned we're, we're looking to get that video teaser up and there will be new materials. We just got the branding in just in the last couple of days. Um, but we really welcome you to take advantage of this kit, download the materials, add them to your campaigns, to add color and some consistency in the branding across the um, across the materials. And without further ado, I'll hand it back over to, uh, to Ingo to take over to talk about the next action. Okay, so um, I also would like to say that we're also preparing a toolkit um, in English, French, and Spanish, and that will be also sent soon, so which is basically based on, on this presentation, but with more um, details. And um, yeah, we are working on, on the website and the different materials. So as, as Laura said, you, there will be more in the coming days. So all these social media ac actions um, can start actually immediately. Um, but then we uh, uh, think that the 25th September will, the, will be the uh, main point of the main day, main day of action. But then it is also designed in a way that this can be used also afterwards in the uh, in the months or years ahead. So the third um, type of action is to organize an event um, in your country, in your community. So we have um, the ideas that we also need to uh, have online actions and that we need to 
go back to our governments to um, ask them what they have done um, the last two years or what they haven't done so far. So um, we want to do this with um, three different elements. So the first um, is to make a photo stunt in the uh, in the public. This can be in a community, but but uh, we're also thinking about um, uh, uh, capitals, so symbols of, of the capital, whether it's the Eiffel Tower in Paris or, um, for example, we will have an, uh, here an example in front of the European Commission in, in Brussels, or the, there can be other national monuments like the Obelisk in uh, Buenos Aires, just for example, but to, to um, bring a strong um, sign, I mean, with a slogan, and uh, a stamp can be uh, with a lot of fantasy, to, to get media attention and then connected to this um, there are two elements one is to give a message from uh, civil society to the public and to the politicians so it should be a really short message maybe more like a press release one page or maximum two pages so this has been done uh, so far or this hasn't been done so far and why sustainable development Agenda, uh, agenda 2030 and SDGs are so important for our country and what this means, for example, for leave no one behind, what other groups may be left behind, but in a very short uh, message. And then the third element are events. Um, this can be again in communities and in uh, capitals together with local or national politicians um, to ask them to, dis, uh, to discuss with them, so best would be if people, marginalized people, uh, women groups, youth groups, uh, different um, marginalized groups like uh, ethnic minorities could be uh, could part uh, could be part of this event and to to ask uh, give them the opportunity to ask the politicians what they have done so far, um, and of course this should be also um, related with uh, media work to to get public uh, attention. Um, so those are the main elements. Um, there will be also different other campaigns um, on uh, or civil society activities during the, uh, the 25th September or in, in the days before, just for example the Speak campaign, which is more focusing on freedom of civil society, but which is very much related. Um, there will be other activities of SDG with Europe, for example. Um, so that the main point is that we get um, public attention within the countries, but then also um, good pictures uh, from around the world to make it really a, a global event. Um, yeah, I think we have done more or less a presentation of the different um, actions. Now uh, we would like to hear some uh, exciting, inspiring uh, examples from around the world. Um, so. We, had, we will go uh, in the different regions. Um, so I would like to ask um, Alex Wang from uh, Using China. Are you there? Can you um, present your plans? Yes. Uh, hi, hi, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes, very well. Thank you. Hi, Alex. Yeah, good. Uh, thanks very much for, for, uh, for the opportunity to uh, join this webinar. I think. Uh, uh, it's very cool that uh, uh, we have this kind of uh, campaign on September 25th because two years ago I was in New York and I saw that uh, uh, the launch of uh, uh, Sustainable Dome goes. Uh, and also in the past two years we worked with SDG Action Campaign to promote my world uh, uh, in China and also to promote uh, uh, more young people uh, to engage uh, the global goals. Um, so I think uh, uh, the ideas are very cool, and also uh, we are thinking that how to mobilize uh, um, Chinese young people to be engaged with uh, the campaign, uh, and also how to uh, properly uh, to, to organize something uh, in China with uh, uh, some Chinese uh, social medias. Um, this is the basic idea uh, so far, uh, and also I think uh, it will be cool if we can share all these talkies. Uh, and then we will try to uh, get uh, a Chinese version and how to uh, work with uh, 
uh, some Chinese partners. Um, and also, at the same time, we will have a Chinese youth delegation for General Assembly in New York. Um, so I'm thinking hopefully we can link uh, some Chinese delegates in New York and also some Chinese young people and uh, uh, civil society partners in China how to work out together to celebrate uh, the two years of birthday for uh, the global goals. Um, this is uh, the, the brief idea so far, and uh, so I think uh, uh, for, the, uh, for the next step, hopefully like some follow-ups is that uh, we will try to create the Chinese turkeys to promote uh, the, uh, the, uh, the September 25th uh, global action in China. Uh, the second thing is that people we will think about how to link with uh, Chinese social media because most of the social media you guys are using globally uh, are blocked in China. So we are seeing, but we have really cool uh, Chinese social media as well, like WeChat, Weibo. So we are thinking that how can we create this kind of uh, um, online movement in China uh, together with the Chinese social media. Uh, third thing is that we will think about um, um, probably we will get some my words. Uh, uh, Volunteers and uh, and also we have our, our, our program called Youth for SDG. So we will get uh, some volunteers uh, from civil, uh, civil society and also uh, from youth groups. So we will think about uh, how can we do something together with our uh, Chinese youth delegation in General Assembly and also with media's um, to to have uh, to have some local actions. Uh, this is uh, ideas so far. Uh, so, uh, and also I'm looking forward to hearing more your ideas in other countries and uh, how can we share this kind of uh, information and how can we jointly uh, take some actions uh, and also um, to share the best cases and uh, to promote sustainable development goals in our local community. Thanks very much. Hello. Okay, so thank you very much, Alex. So uh, that's really good to hear. Um, let's move for, uh, within Asia. Uh, now we, we go to Zia Rahman uh, in Pakistan, from, from GK Pakistan. Um, Zia, can you present your plans? Thank you very much, uh, Ingo, and thank you very much, uh, SDG Action Campaign for organizing this webinar. Are you are you hearing me? Hello, are you listening? Yes, yes. But can you can ah. can you speak a bit closer to the mic? It's not very uh, uh, strong. So. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I was better. just thinking. I was just thinking that uh, this webinar is being uh, organized, and uh, we are very happy to share couple of activities that Pakistan Development Alliance has planned on 25th of course, September um, as part of the global mobilization campaign. Uh, one is that we will be actually holding media and social media campaign across Pakistan, engaging with Pakistan Development Alliance members and networks and alliances of young people and the other uh, constituency groups. Uh, particularly women, uh, transgenders, and farmers, and socially excluded uh, people. Uh, um, the, the main slogan we highlighting is keep your promises on SDGs as well as SDGs are our right. Uh, these two slogans uh, were selected by the Pakistan Development Alliance uh, National Council. Uh, and then uh, um, the, the, during this uh, social media campaign, uh, we will highlight two things. One is that uh, this uh, SDGs should be included in the national curriculum. Uh, the demand would come from the youth and the university students. Uh, the second is that uh, nowadays the government, uh, the, the political parties in Pakistan are preparing for the general election in 2018, uh, early 2018. Um, so the political parties manifestos are being prepared. Um, so every uh, uh, activist in Pakistan is now um, um, trying to contact with these political parties to engage with them and to uh, mobilizing them to include the agenda, their agendas. So our agenda is SDG. So we will just demand in Pakistan through the social media campaign that SDGs should be included in the political parties' manifestos 
so as the priority should be given uh, for the implementation of uh, uh, SDGs while these political parties get into power. The second event that we are planning is uh, uh, on, on 25th of September, we are planning one national conference in Islamabad Press Club where we will be inviting uh, all related stakeholders, particularly the representatives of provincial and uh, uh, federal government. Um, we are having a meeting on 6th of uh, September in Islamabad where the representatives of uh, all the INGOs will be gathering at the platform of Pakistan uh, uh, humanitarian, humanitarian Forum which is called PHF. PHF is actually the forum of all the INGOs where they have invited me to speak on behalf of Pakistan Development Alliance so I, I will be sharing the agenda of Pakistan from, uh, uh, Development Alliance and the SDG action campaign related uh, uh, matters and then I will be inviting them to join uh, hands together for organizing this conference on 25th of September. So the main title for this conference would be where we stand on SDGs after two years. Uh, the purpose is to highlight the um, achievements by, by by government and by the civil society uh, in the last two years as well as the challenges that we have been facing in implementation of SDGs. So this is what we have uh, planned yet. Um, there may be some more uh, that uh, may be shared by the members of PHF on um, 6th of September. I may be able to notify all that soon. Okay, that's great, uh, Zia. Um, good to hear your plans. It sounds really good. So let's stay in Asia and um, we have, um, um, luckily there are many plans already um, done around the world so um, we, we also would like to have some time for uh, questions and, and discussions so I, I would like to uh, really um, be a bit, uh, yeah, brief into, um, briefer so that we can hear some more countries. So uh, Thomas from India, are you there? I, uh, I don't know whether if you're still muted, uh, Thomas. Um, otherwise, um, we move forward to to Africa. So, um, muted, Thomas. Thomas, can you can you unmute yourself? No. We can uh, move on to the okay, next. Yes. Yeah. So. Um, Let's move to Kenya. So um, actually, the, the Kenya coordinators in the in the government in the meeting with the government on on, on the post HLPF um, in our report. So um, Chireba Azamor, um, uh, the uh, Africa coordinator, will say uh, about the plans in Kenya. Ingo, can you repeat that name, please? Chireba Azamor. Okay, uh, sorry, maybe we need no, to, I think we need to do the lineup a bit more. Um, so Thomas is actually uh, there now. So can we go to, back to Thomas? Can you unmute? Yes. Yeah. Thomas, can you hear us? Thomas? Sorry. Uh, <laughs> Okay, if that is not working, then we go maybe to Ghana. Um, so, okay, I'm unmuted, Kereba. Kereba, can you talk? Yes, thank oh, you. Oh, please, yeah, yeah. Um, so on behalf of the uh, uh, GCAP Kenya, this morning they are also they are engaging in a meeting with the government, also in one of the SDGs activities. So as part of their activities for uh, of their plans for 25 September, they will be planning a march that led by left behind segment to remind their government to prioritize marginalized communities. So after the march, 
they will come together and present and present their their their, their demands and, and ask the government on, on the actions they are expected they are expecting them them to take. They will also be engaging on online conversation with the community and also share their views on how the government has fared so far on the SDGs and what their expectations are, especially uh, for the youth, what they are, the government support is expected to do for their youth. And uh, they've just come up from elections, so the issues are very fresh and they're coming together, mobilizing themselves. They'll be doing um, uh, social media activities as well and seek the view of the youth and the expectation of the, of the government on the S SDGs. So in brief, this is what uh, Kenya has planned to do and any other activities that they will be doing within their communities to draw the attention of the government on the SDGs. Uh, we have other countries as well. Ghana is also planning um, to have a WhatsApp campaign. The, the name is WhatsApp, but it's actually a, a community WhatsApp where they be engaging their communities and ask WhatsApp for the SDGs, WhatsApp for the SDG for the government. So even though the name is called WhatsApp, it's actually the name of the campaign that they are planning to do. It's not the usual WhatsApp that they'll be using their phone, but they'll be coming together and be asking WhatsApp and then they'll bring different, different ideas of the uh, acts and then the expectation of the, of the community to the government and also engage and social media activities with the photo stands and to share the ideas. Thank you for um, Cheva for, for Kenya and, and Ghana. Um, actually we also have a call in French um, next Monday so we will have other colleagues from, from Senegal and Togo and Mali so um, there's there are more plans going on uh, in Africa. Um, so now let's go back to Asia to, to Thomas from uh, from India. Can you hear me? Yes, finally we can hear you. Welcome. Yeah, it was unmuted. Yeah, thank you, thank you, and it was good listening to uh, some of you. I joined only. I managed to join only around five. I was struggling for about half an hour, oh, but anyway, sorry. now I'm on. So what is going, what is planned in India now? Uh, well, I was discussing with Pradeep. We haven't had uh, a common meeting at WNTA, but what has been proposed now? We are through our UPR three um, process, and India is uh, you know giving its response on 20, 31st of September in Geneva. So as a build up to that. What we have tried to do is look at the UPR recommendations from the member states, about 250 of them are there, and we have tried to see the convergence with SDGs. We find several of those, no, most of those uh, recommendations, not most, but at least about 70% of the recommendations are reflected in the SDG goals, targets, and the indicators we ourselves have developed here. So there are a series of uh, workshops being planned in 22 states, and this will become part of that workshop uh, discussion, where the civil society will be gathering, so that the 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 UPR and the SDG processes, HLB process, become something of a convergence effort. What you are saying, see, the development in New York and the uh, human rights discussions in Geneva, particularly because the SDGs has got a human rights framework. We, we feel that this needs to be linked up very, very strongly. So that will be the effort with GCAP India will be doing, the WND will be doing with, with the working group on human rights so that there is this convergence. So run up to 21st of September, all the discussions in the states would include the, and, and therefore the September 25th anniversary of SDGs, the second anniversary of the SDGs. And the second thing would be uh, the representation through children. Unfortunately, we are, we are planning a very massive mobilization across several states in India, but unfortunately it is a holiday time and kids are not in school, but still representatives of kids who are committee members of different human rights clubs and children's parliament will be meeting their local leaders, not at the at the center. Uh, and the 90s man uh, campaign, the children would do their uh, 
events in Delhi. So one is trying to bring the convergence between the UPR three recommendations and its counterpart in the SDGs, and so it would be a series of uh, uh, you know meetings across 22 states in India, and also there is there is a plan to use the 21st uh, event. I mean the response of Indian government in Geneva at 6:30 our times, 15 hour time, and to be simultaneously viewed in about as many as four to 500 different sites in India. And that will again become, from my part, I'm going to send out the call so that during that 21st September, we also highlight the question of the anniversary of SDGs. And therefore, we really build a convergence between UPR3 recommendations and the SDGs. Uh, and the other one, as I said, is the, uh, the, the the work that the children will do at the local level. And uh, in Delhi, the Nine is Mind campaign, the coordinator will do that in Delhi. And therefore, whom exactly we will be able to meet there in Delhi, we will not know. But the event can be done at India Gate. At present, these two are the plans that we have in mind. India, India Gate sounds exciting and also all those plans for example, with children around India. Thanks a lot, uh, Thomas. Um, so we, we have three more um, presentations. So um, we are now moving to, to Europe. Um, so next is uh, Patricia Heidegger from the European Environmental Bureau and also speaking for SDG Watch Europe. Hi, hello everyone, it's Patricia. So I'll give you a very um, quick update on what we're intending to do with SDG Watch Europe. So the uh, EU-wide um, cross-sectoral SDG coalition of civil society organizations. So we will also uh, run a small social media campaign in the, in the 17 days um, before the 25th of uh, September. So 17 days, 17 goals. Um, the idea is that uh, all our members um, and members of members and uh, partners um, across Europe from all different uh, um, civil society sectors will uh, participate in the social media campaign. Um, so the idea is that uh, every organization will um, have social media messages every day. So every organization will have to say something on every goal. And by this, we try to also um, kind of create more ownership for all goals by all organizations. So let's say um, women's rights organizations will say something about the more environmental goals, etc. So we try to motivate them to see the interlinkages and um, not just to focus on the SDGs that they kind of otherwise would, would focus on. Um, and uh, we link that with um, uh, an, an early social media campaign that we've had across Europe involving uh, members of the European Parliament who, who had their pictures taken for a social media campaign um, where they uh, kind of give a quote on you know, why they care about uh, Agenda 2030 and how they want to contribute. So we integrate them into the social media campaign, obviously also to get more attention and to get access to their pre big network or followers on, on social media. So uh, this is going to run for 17 days from the 8th to the 24th of September. And we hope to create a, a lot of uh, traffic in social media um, around the SDGs before the anniversary. And ob obviously the objective is to get more attention at the level of the European Union, um, which has been very slow in starting to implement Agenda 2030, or is still not, you know, really doing it with a, with a with a kind of holistic approach. So that's the objective. Um, we will also try to link this up to the social media, the, the global social media campaign that you've just introduced. So we'll advise our members to also um, link it up or use the the, the global social media campaign. Um, the, the campaign and then also the, the, the public event that we will have on the 25th of September uh, is, will be very targeted um, on the President of the European Commission um, as we see that he is really the one who is kind of blocking a more uh, ambitious um, approach at the level of the European Union. Um, so what we will do is that on the day of the anniversary we will have a, a public stand uh, in front of the building of the European Commission, so basically the, um, the government headquarters. 
um, where we uh, will uh, yeah, have a targeted action targeted to the president um, who is um, ignoring uh, Agenda 2030 so far completely and who hardly talks about the SDGs as a sustainable development. So uh, it's all about the elephant in the room. Everybody's talking about sustainable development except for the president. It will be a huge uh, pink elephant, the elephant in the room, and uh, a huge picture of the president who is ignoring the elephant, and there will be banners, and uh, we hope to get a lot of attention also from the public. We will motivate um, passers-by to uh, use the action to get active on social media. We will invite members of parliament to come there, I mean critical members of parliament who, um, who care about um, SDGs. And uh, so yeah, the, the objective is to um, to get the highest kind of political level more engaged on, on the agenda. So the, the, the target group is really more policy makers and CSOs um, that we try to reach with, with, with this activity. So yeah, I think that's that's it in short. And uh, yeah, as I said, we will try to link it up to the to the global campaign as well, um, to make sure that the social media campaign can be kind of used to also um, get more attention for the global campaign. Thanks. Great, thank you, uh, Patricia. Exciting to see the elephant in Brussels, and there are also other plans in Europe, like in, for example, Madrid, uh, Rome, Vienna, Dublin. Uh, just to mention a few. Um, but we are, we will, we are moving forward now uh, to New York. So Rosa Lizarde is the chair of the policy and strategy group of the World We Want platform and also from the Feminist Task Force. Rosa, are you there? Yes, I am. Hi, Rosa. Hi, Hi Laura. Hi, Mitch. Hi, Diane. Hi, folks. Um, well, I... I um, I hadn't um, known that I would be speaking this morning, um, but let me just jump right in and say hello to all my GCAP colleagues. Hello. It's Hi. Nice. <laughs> um, nice to hear um, voices, GCAP and beyond. I think there may be others um, on board. I, I was just um, texting um, Laura saying, um, um, we should definitely set up a call with the world we want 2030 partners to um, to to kick off um, a round of, of planning of events um, for the 25th of September. Um, first of all, let me just say um, this is a, a very worthy initiative. Um, I agree with with Mitch's comments about um, and others about having to light a fire under um, the governments um, to remind them um, and, and to really uh, mark the the event um, and and ensure that that we're not uh, the governments are are just not um, doing business as usual. Um, but to remind them that this is a people's agenda. Um, many, many, many groups have been involved in the formation of the SDGs. So ensuring that, that we um, continue to press them is very, very important. Um, let me just say that um, for the high-level political forum, the, the World We Want 2030 partners, um, together with the SDG Action Campaign, um, had an event um, that really brought a lot of the different uh, coalitions and different partners, different constituencies together, um, uh, underrepresented groups, indigenous, disabled, rural, rural women, um, children, youth, um, of course, women. Um, so these are the groups that, that we want to ensure um, have representation, um, have events for the 25th of September. Um, so let me let me just say that you know Laura and Mitch, I hope that we're able to organize a, a call in this fashion for um, for next week and really rally the world we want 2030 partners. Which um, for those who are not fully um, informed. Um, the World We Want 2030 
um, began as the World We Want 2015. Um, so we have a long course of involvement uh, in the formulation and the um, mobilization around the MDGs, um, and then further now with, with the SDGs, um, it began as a pl platform for um, dissemination of information for action online. And it has um, continued more so as as a network. So we have representatives in different parts of the world, um, people who are very engaged um, at the local level, um, and moving to to really um, engage further with with governments. So we have um, groups that have already advanced that agenda with with the governments um, in the implementation of the SDGs. Um, so we hope to be able to have um, a showcase of different actions um, from um, information, raising information, raising awareness to um, more concrete actions to um, showing actions together with the government. Um, the governance of the world we want is the policy and strategy group, and that features um, uh, a partnership with the UN, civil society with the UN, um, and at the local level also with, with governments. And that's uh, what we um, are, are showcasing and, and really trying to ensure that, that we um, initiate these um, PSG groups on the ground at the country level so that we are together with civil society, a UN agency, and local government are able to advance the SDGs. Um, so um, let's just move forward, adelante, and um, thank you so much. Thank you very much, Rosa. I, I think that's um, really showing also um, that there's a lot of interest around the world and, and many people want to engage, um, but we I mean, it's not much time, but uh, I think it's uh, good that we are now um, there. And so we, we have to, it, it would be great to have the call with the world we want uh, partners uh, next week. So thank you for that. And um, now we have the last um, contribution from uh, Nigeria. So Tosin, um, what Oluwat Tosin, I don't know whether I pronounce the name properly, um, from the NGO platform in Nigeria. Um, are you there? Yeah, hello, good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. Yes, it's Oluwato. Thank you. Ah, good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so what we are planning to do, though it's still tentative, but we have some lined up activities already. We intend to do a social media campaign where we'll bring together CSOs that are our members and then we'll um, make them join the conversation by sharing their messages on SDGs on their social media platforms. So we'll have um, a common hashtag that we'll use and so people can respond to it and as well as um, make their contributions. So that will serve as um, the baseline for the main live tweet chats that we'll be having. We intend to do that um, before the day, the, the, the 25th September, um, and so their live tweet chat, we intend to bring an expert who will be responding to people's questions, and also people can as well share their opinions, you know, tell, um, use the opportunity to tell the government what they want, what they expect them to do. And um, we'll be having an online coalition meeting with the CSOs as well, and so um, points garnered from this meeting, the social media campaign, as well as the live tweet chat, can then be harmonized and then um, a policy brief will be developed and shared with the office of the special senior assistant working on SDGs in the country. So um, things may change, we may include more and then we may remove more, but for now that is what we have. Okay, thank you very much. It's good to hear also from Nigeria. So yeah, we actually you. plan to have a colleague from Mexico, from uh, uh, My World Mexico, I, I guess 
she is not yet here. Actually, we have a call this afternoon in Spanish, so where we have several people from Latin America and Caribbean. Um, so, uh, yeah, therefore we, we don't have now any uh, contribution from that region. Um, we are, uh, because we had so many uh, examples, which is really great. So we are a bit late. Um, I would like to continue still a bit for 10 minutes for, for questions and, and answers. Um, so if you want to have, uh, if you have a question or if you want to say something, please raise your hand. So Gayan, do, do we have people? Um, I, uh, I can see it. We do have people uh, in Go. I'm, I'm going to hand over the floor to Laura briefly and then go back to questions. Okay, okay sure. good. I, yeah, sure. We can do this now. And um, just at the end, I just had a couple of, of kind of summary points before we go to questions, and maybe this will help to answer some um, of the questions. That's um, helpful. Yeah, please. So as we said, there are the, the three main calls to action. Um, but now at the end, we're just listing it out in, in hopefully clearer terms, in terms of what to do and when. First thing for everybody, we hope, go and take the survey and join the thunderclap. Um, start work, working with your social media campaign and the media pack to, to develop your own campaign and customize it to your actions. And then, of course, I mean, clearly all of you are already well on your way with organizing your own events. Um, but the, also to say that we are encouraging you to register those actions with us as part of this campaign. And, and really the motivation to do that is to, what we were hoping to do is just show how incredibly active civil society is and how engaged you are already in raising awareness and try to aggregate some of this message to a global level. So we're hoping that um, together we can raise visibility for each other's actions and have a bigger impact. So that's really the purpose of registering. Um, we will be producing a mapping of all of the actions that are being registered across the world. So you'll see that in the next few days, a map with points on it where you, when you register, your name and your initiative will show up there. Um, and we will have that linked to a social media um, aggregator which will show all of the, the feed from the things that you're already tagging with Act for SDG. So that's just a, a few words about how we're going to bring it all together. Um, so, without further ado, then I don't want to take too much time. We can turn over for questions, and maybe we'll ask Gayan to yeah. tell us who's. Uh, the first question is from uh, Waka. Waka, are you there? Waka. Maybe you can always introduce yourself, your name and organization. So I, I know Sola raised her, her hand, for example. Yeah. Now, so until we get uh, Waka back, we'll go to um, the next question from Reginald. Yes. Reginald. Two, two questions, real quickly. The 23:59 time is uh, the Eastern Daylight Time Zone, I take it. Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> and the second question is: You will be sending out instructions with links so that we can carry, so that we can carry this through. Yes. So we we will have another communication. I mean, um, also in the the toolkit about that. Yeah, that's true. It's yeah. not yet fully clear. Yeah. And a quick third comment: I represent the World Federation of Engineering Organizations, and we have standing technical committees were working on the SDGs and at some point I think and we're in all of the we're in a hundred countries so I would like to link our people up with with people in the other the other people in the countries around the world but I can follow that up with you later Thank okay you. that's that's wonderful yeah this is these kind of partnerships we are looking for yeah great thank you next is Abdul Rauf Abdul? No, 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 we are on. Hello. Hello. Yes, Hello. we can hear you. Hello. Can you hear us? Hello. Yes, we can hear you. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. Uh, this is uh, Further from India. 
uh, from the Vardana Todo team in the office. So some of the things that are being planned is also uh, social media and other things we'll surely be doing. In addition, one, the Secretariat is also planning on a kind of a poster competition, online poster competition, uh, which can then be sort of, um, you know, uh, link it, link to the SDG goal. So that's something that would be done. And uh, as you would know, the India SDG report was released in Delhi in July. Uh, we also plan to release smaller versions of it in a few states. So I think together we would be building up a momentum towards the second year, uh, looking at UPR on one side, children's uh, uh, you know, activities on another side, releasing the reports in a few states, and also an online poster competition to give it greater visibility. Hello. Okay, that sounds also like a very good idea, the online poster competition. Maybe we other countries can also use this idea. Hello. Hello. Hi, yes. Can you hear us? Yes, yes, that was very clear. Thanks oh. a lot. Yeah. Okay. okay. Good. This is Annie, Manshi, and Tanvir, and Abdul from Vaganatoro. Good. Yes. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Who's next? Gayan. Thank you. Next will be Sola. Sola from the Network of African Youth for Development. Sola, are you there? Okay. Can everybody hear me? Can you go be a bit yes. closer to the micro? Okay, can you hear me now? Is it better? Yes, it's okay. Okay, so my name is um, Shara, and um, I am representing the Network of African Youth for Development. It's um, a coalition of uh, more than 50,000 youth across Africa, and um, we are planning our action. Actually, we have a meeting this afternoon to talk about what we want to do concerning the second anniversary of the SDGs. And then we are glad that this time around, as a group, we are going to be participating in this. That's in the Global um, Bill of Action, with, uh, along with every other civil society organization. And um, I'm also using this opportunity to solicit for support for um, our members in different countries across Africa. I don't know how many people are here from Africa, but I am sure that um, our members will be organizing different um, activities at the country level, and it will also be good to also, you know, um, work with them at the country level. But I wish we had had our meeting earlier, and then I could tell you the plans that we are having, but we've not had it. We are having it just after this meeting. So for the next call, I'm sure that I'll be able to inform you better on what we, um, we are doing. But you can find more about um, NYD at www.nyd.org. Thank you. Thank you very much. So I, I think there's an enormous potential. I know your uh, the, the um, energy of your members and 50,000 members is so great potential. So um, who's next? So we have a question from Geneviève Tardieu. Uh, yes. Hello, hello everybody. I'm happy to um, be with you and thank you for the tremendous uh, exchanges so far. So I am uh, Geneviève Tardieu and I'm speaking in the name of the Stop Poverty campaign. So we are, uh, of course, promoting uh, SDGs and especially uh, SDG number one uh, against poverty. So I'm, I'm very happy to speak with you because um, we are running a global campaign and uh, the culmination of the campaign will be on October 17, the World Day Against Poverty. But since we have uh, so close goals, we have decided to really start our um, social media and Thunder Club campaign on uh, September 25th. So that, we, uh, which means that we will make a lot of uh, efforts as far as uh, being uh, visible and being in the social media from 20, uh, September 25th up to October 17th. So uh, 
uh, on our website, our, on our Stop Poverty campaign uh, website, we are going to promote yours and uh, we will be very happy to put uh, the story specifically on Leaving No One Behind, which is a story of how we have put together and we brought to it the United Nations this very basic concept of uh, Leaving No One Behind. And we would be very happy to uh, also host a few of the stories uh, that you will have on uh, your website. And if it's fine, if it's uh, okay with you, uh, we would love to have stories of uh, changes and the story of action and specifically uh, action against uh, poverty. Um, so we uh, we are going to promote your social uh, media campaign, and we would uh, love to do. Uh, uh, we would love to know if it's possible for you to do the same. Thank you, Genevieve. So I'm very happy that you are here in this call, and um, yeah, it's um, very good, I think, to uh, join forces to work together with the uh, Stop Poverty campaign. So. That's really great that you want to launch uh, on 25th September. So I know, uh, let's connect again uh, offline. Um, thanks a lot. Um, is there, how many people we still have uh, on the line? Uh, will be Wakar, Ahmed Wenz. Wakar? Because then I think we, we should close maybe in, in five minutes. Yeah? Yeah. Wakar, are you there? No, uh, seems like Waka, we couldn't get audio for Waka, so uh, I'll go over to you. Is that the last question? Yes. Okay. Ah, okay. So then that's that's good that we I, uh, could everybody could speak. So I think what what I see from this uh, webinar is that there's a lot of interest and that different groups being active um, already, and and we can really bring this together. So. Um, I believe we also um, there's a need to have some more detailed information. So we are wor working on the on the toolkits. We are working on on different visuals. Um, so um, I think there's a yeah um, we are we are um, we don't have much time, but uh, we are now on track and we we can plan together now. Um, so thank you to everybody. Um, Laura, do you have um, some uh, co concluding remarks? Yes, thank you. Thank you very much, Ingo. Just on a final note, um, I hadn't mentioned it before, and I'm sorry. Um, if you know the hashtag, act for sdgs you also know our website. We have a website for the campaign. It's actforsdgs.org. Um, and so we will be sending a toolkit in the next few days, which has the links to all of these things that we talked about. But also, um, if you want a, a very simple version of it, which is always updated, um, you can also always go to that website. And that will they'll link you through to all of the design resources we talked about, key messages, and some of the, um, the advice and support that we're providing. Um, if people have questions, um, we have two emails here at the end of our presentation. Um, we've got the SDG Action Campaign, which is support at sdgactioncampaign.org and we've got act for sdgs at whiteband.org. You can write either of those depending on the nature of your question. If your question is um, you know, related to the My World survey or more technical to the platform, um, you might write to the support at SDG Action Campaign. Um, and the other one, of course, links to, to Ingo and his team from GCAP. So, as a final reminder, please register your actions. Use the hashtag. And I'm really very inspired to hear from all of you about your events. It's, it's terrific to hear how much is already going on. Um, Genevieve, thank you for mentioning that you've got uh, another social media campaign. I'm getting nods from our social media team that, yes, we can cross-promote each other's content. So maybe you want to follow up directly with us about that. Uh, that's all for me. Thank you, Ingo, for the tremendous partnership, and um, we're really looking forward to a successful Global Day of Action with all of you on board. Thank you. Good. Thank you also, Laura, for the very good cooperation, and also especially to Gayan for organizing this call and all other colleagues. So, um, and thanks for all of you participating and uh, for being part of this uh, 
action. Um, so we will be in contact uh, by email. Um, and yeah, looking forward for an exciting 25th September. Thank you, Ingo. Thank you. Sent uh, me offline questions just now. We will answer them. We will send you. Uh, we have your email addresses, so we will send an answer uh, to them. And also, this the recording of this webinar will be available on the website act Great, wonderful. Thank okay, thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye.